Today we're looking at retail, starting off with Macy's, which reported earnings just over a half an hour ago right now, and shares have been taking a big hit in the pre-market. Bloomberg's Emma Chandra is here to take us through the numbers. Emma. Thank you, David. We are looking at a big hit, as you mentioned, for Macy's set to open now at its lowest since 2010. And that just adds to the pain that we've seen for Macy's throughout 2019. Here it is, compared with other department stores also suffering this year, and the S&P 500, and it's not a pretty picture. So where was that pain in the second quarter? Well, we certainly saw it when it came to earnings per share, coming in at just 28 cents, well below even the lowest analyst estimate. The company also cut its earnings forecast for the full year. Revenue and comparative sales came in line, but what that suggests is that Macy saw what many had feared, a much more promotional environment, and for that, take discounting, and that's shown here in margins. Look at margins uh, in the second quarter, coming in at 38.8%, again below analyst estimates, and much lower than where we were a year ago. Now, Macy's called out a fashion miss in its women's sportswear private brands. Nevertheless, you need margins to be heading in the other direction, or heading at least upwards if you're going to see any increase in profitability. And it really doesn't look like we're going to see that any time soon. I mentioned there they cut their full year uh, profitability forecast down by some 20 cents. And this is we head into that crucial holiday season. It's where department stores make the majority of their sales. or well, not the majority, but a big chunk of their sales for department stores. It's about 27% of total sales come during that holiday season. Of course, the industry caught a bit of a break yesterday when the Trump administration said that it was delaying new tariffs on some items until December, but some tariffs will still hit on September the 1st. And Macy saying it's still evaluating the details of this, given yesterday's decision. Expect a number of questions about tariffs on the earnings call.